Welcome back to Central PA Live. His short stories have appeared in magazines and anthologies around the world. But before his writing went global, he worked right here at WTAJ directing newscasts. Today, Robert Jashanik joins us to talk about his novel, My Favorite Band Does Not Exist. Welcome to the show. Hey, and I'm thanks, calling, Don. You said I can call you Bob, so Absolutely. we're all friends here, right, Bob? Yeah, hi, Don. <laughs> so um, <laughs> you saw that video there. That was from a piece yeah. from Take This Job and Love It, That's a right. segment we revived here in Central PA Live. Sarah and I do those. Oh, that's good do you remember know. that? Somebody actually played you and directed the news? Yeah, Jim Gregory. <laughs> he was a sportscaster at the time and uh -huh. also he did the Take This Job and Love It segments and it was a lot of fun. I mean, he was just crazy and <laughs> he really he really made the most of it. Really yeah. fun guy. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. how did you go from television to writing books? Well, you know, even when I worked at Channel 10, I was still writing fiction. Mm -hmm. I was still writing books. Uh, on, in my spare time mm -hmm. at night. I would stay up until 5 in the morning, you know, because I would work uh, till about 11.30 or 12 mm -hmm. here at Channel 10. And I would just type long into the night. Mm -hmm. So even then I was writing, but I didn't really start getting published until years later. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. this is actually your first book to be published by a major publisher, correct? Yeah, that's true, Don. So mm -hmm. um, this is... Um, yeah, well, it started off with a bang, actually, yeah. you know, because it was named to a book list top 10 first novels for youth. That's yes. amazing. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. So tell I'm us a little bit about it. Really excited about it. Yeah. Well, it's called My Favorite Band Does Not Exist, and it's a young adult novel. It's a fantasy, a contemporary mm -hmm. fantasy, and it's about alternate realities, time travel, and rock and roll. Hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a great <laughs> mix, huh? Yeah, it's an exciting book, I think. There's a, a lot that's going on, and, and it's really a unique novel, too, for mm -hmm. young adult readers. Because there are so many different genres that are popular with that age group mm -hmm. these days. For example, vampire novels, mm -hmm. and paranormal romance, and dystopian fiction, futuristic, apocalyptic, whatever. And sure. this is just a completely different thing, but I think it's exciting, and it's the kind of thing that I think kids could really enjoy. Mm -hmm. and it, I'm, I'm glad that, that, that it's doing well. Yeah, it seems to be. Mm -hmm. I was telling you, I was looking online and I found a YouTube review of it and the girl just yeah. was raving about it. And um, she said that, I think she was reading the back of it, but she mm -hmm. was saying mm -hmm. that this was um, School of Rock meets Alice in Wonderland. And that really <laughs> intrigued her. She said, yeah. I had to pick it up and, and read it then. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that what you were going for whenever you, I guess that was a comparison that you made maybe in the back of it, or was that the publisher? Yeah, that was something that, that I came up mm -hmm. with and that the publisher decided to go with. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it does fit the book because it's, like I said, it involves rock and roll and it's a story of parallel realities. Mm -hmm. There are two characters. There's a, a teenage boy in, in one world, mm -hmm. one version of Earth, and he creates a, a hoax band that he puts out on the internet, mm. becomes popular, people think it's real. Mm. And then there's another world where the band is real. And the characters who are in the band wonder how this guy knows all about it because ah. his internet postings cross over the boundary between the worlds. And the two characters sort of are coming together throughout the novel and eventually they do join up hmm. and they resolve their conflict in the world of a book that they're both reading. Oh my goodness. And in fact, the back cover of the book, uh, My Favorite Band Does Not Exist, is the front cover of the book within the book. Ah. So. Now I want to read it, Bob. Yeah, thank you, Don. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, um, you do have a big book signing coming up too, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't That's it? Right. Um, is it Saturday on the 26th? Yes, it is. Yeah. At, at Barnes & Noble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, is it from 1 to 3, I believe? That is correct. You got that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, are you excited about meeting your, your fans now? I can't wait. Yeah? I can't wait. And I really, I still know a lot of people mm -hmm. in this area. Sure. I love Altoona and I really never lost that love for the area and the people here. So I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of my friends and their families. And we're going to have free candy hey, <laughs> that's table. Good. So that's a good reason to go, right? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm excited. I hope we get a lot of people. Well, real quick, I did mm -hmm. want to mention that this is sure. not your first book. I mean, that's you right. you are, it was the first one with a major publisher, but you've yeah. written a lot before. You mm -hmm. have a murder mystery that revolves around a Western PA and polka. Yeah, you that's know, right. All that, that sounds really interesting. And then mm -hmm. you have um, The Fear of Rain, a short story. It was inspired by the Johnstown Flood. That's right. Yeah, and it it's, also mm -hmm. run, it was a British Fantasy Award nominee. So yes, that's it was. Global. Yeah, it's set global, in Johnstown. Global. Bob. Wow. It's about the fourth Johnstown 
Flood. Mm -hmm. And this one character who caused the first three to happen and, and his protege is trying to stop him from causing the fourth. Oh my goodness. So, well, you gotta yeah, get on fantasy. there and read that. We have a link to your website too in case oh, anybody great. wants to check it out. And yeah. hopefully, the, hopefully they will come out and see you on Saturday. I hope so. I'm really looking forward to seeing anybody who stops off. Well, best of luck yeah. and I'm glad you, you uh, were able to stop in and I hope Me you too. enjoyed your time back with your little reunion oh, of really everybody did. here at And I'm really glad I got to meet you, Dawn, <laughs> and I love this show. Oh, thank you so job. much. Thank, thank you so you. much, Bob. We mm -hmm. appreciate it. We'll be right back. Stay with us.